Hello everyone, Neff here, and today just a quick update. Um, as you can see, I've made some changes. Yeah, and I just fell. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna just no clip around because, as you can see, I changed the world gen quite a bit. It's funny because I just got it working and then decided, you know what, let's change it all. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah, basically, um, at the moment, like before, I was using this kind of noise gen, which wasn't great. So basically, you have this noise pattern. It's like a thing you generate in math. And that's how you generate the world. But the one I had before wasn't great. And I did a lot of kind of like, you know, magic with it to try and make it better. But it just wasn't great. And so it annoyed me. Plus, the way it was done, I could only use one noise waveform, which was bad. Whereas now, I basically went for a completely different algorithm. And this one allows me to, first off, I can make several of them and mix them together, which is nice. But also, I can very easily tweak this with a bit of math to make it totally different. I mean, this one you're seeing right here, right now, it's, um, let me just see if I can get a longer render distance here, give an idea. Basically, what this is doing, it's, um, how do I explain this? <laughs> Currently, I'm taking, I think it's one, it's actually one noise wave, but I'm then doing three different kind of um, bits of math on it to, you know, make it totally different. Uh, one basically takes it and makes it very kind of um, like even kind of like hills like you saw in the first videos and that's very smooth if you do that it's kind of boring so I have that then I mix it together with a one that gives it kind of a general slope so you get like higher areas and lower areas which is cool so you get mountains and stuff and then it mixes it with an extreme one and the extreme one basically gives you these kind of like big you know kind of like it goes quite far up and down and that gives you these hills and these rivers and stuff so yeah, I mean, like, it's the same kind of world gen, and then I just, you know, I decide that, like, at zero is sea level, and so, like, the water is at zero, you know? And yeah, and so we have sand. Textures, again, placeholders, don't even tell me. <laughs> so yeah, I know. And also, you'll notice that if I go down close to the um, the water here, that the sand, the water is the first block that's actually not a full block. It's, you know, it's about... not 0.9, like, of a meter instead of one meter. So um, the sand comes just above it, like... And it looks nice. Of course, there's no water physics yet, because you expect that. I um, don't know when I get around to that, probably just do it someday randomly. Um, water physics would be very basic, but they should do. But yeah, I mean, you might notice that the um, like the trees are now using the... I still have the code in for the old, like, you know, generation. And the trees are actually... They're using the levels from the new generation. So like they're on the ground as they should be. But the distribution is from the old generation, so they're a bit weird. Like, you get some areas with lots and some with none. But I'm going to change that, so yeah. But I mean, for the most part, it's working quite well. I actually like how the um, sand and water is, you know, done. I like how it came out. And let's even find a nice area. So one of the first times I can actually just run around the world and be like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> and in fact, I can probably actually land here. Sorry if it's a bit laggy. Fraps is really killing this. It's actually running a lot better without Fraps. But, um, but yeah. Although granted, the way I'm doing chunks right now, I'm loading more than I need to be. Which is um, killing it a bit. I forget my own controls. <laughs> Even though I set them. But, um, but yeah. So I do like it. I mean, like, you get these kind of nice flat areas. And then you get hills. And then you get like kind of like big water areas. And I love little islands and stuff. Like, you see the way that's very smooth. They used to be all like that. Whereas now you get them, they're quite varied. Oh, and actually, one of the... The way it's done at the moment is, as I said, it's... It's one noise pattern, but it's kind of manipulated in three different ways. And then those are mixed together. I just get the averages. And um, also one of them is rotated. The reason for that is to try and avoid kind of like really straight edges. Like you see this one here is actually kind of a good example. That's a bit long for one edge. It's quite long and straight. That normally won't happen. But at the same time, if I hadn't rotated that one wave, it would happen all the time, you know? Now granted, I could probably do more with the rotation. I'm only rotating one layer. And plus, as I said, I'm only using one noise um, wave. If I use three noise waves, it would be totally, you know, random. There'd be no straight lines. And I might actually do that soon. In fact, I could play around with that. But as I said, now I, it's basically the point where I can kind of play with the world gen. I'm much happier with the way this is done, because it means I can, you know, kind of tweak it as I like, and get the results I want. And yeah. And it's actually, I think it's faster than the old generation used to be, which is nice. I think what's the only real performance issue right now is the rendering is kind of becoming an issue now because of the water. And also, I'm this is actually two chunks. Like, the water is kind of in one chunk and these islands are in a different chunk. 
that's a bad way to do it. That's really killing performance for no reason. So I might actually move the water up a bit, like kind of halfway up a chunk. I don't know, see. See, like, I like this area, you know? It's kind of cool. You have these little islands and stuff. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> but yeah, so I think um, what I really need to do now is, perform obviously, I need to optimize a bit more, but as well, um, I really want to do the player physics again, because right now, I kind of made a catch-all kind of method for the physics for, like, all mobs, which works, but it's quite slow, and that's... The problem there is that if you if your performance tanks at all, you start falling through blocks, and that's annoying. Now, it's not really bad. You fall through, like, one block, and you can still get back, but it's it's annoying. It's really annoying. You want it to be smooth. So, um, obviously, I'm trying to avoid that. It's just going to run around for a while. But um, I actually walk quite slowly. Ah, screw it. I just fly. I prefer flying. It's faster. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I, I want to fix the physics. I'm basically going to put in a special, specific physics model for, like, one block size creatures and two block size creatures. And that should do most mobs. And then everything else can use the catch-all method, so that should still work. Ooh, that's nice. This being flat area. I love that it's so varied, like... It's not all hills, you know? Now, as I said, I could still do, like... I could mix this with, like, one wave that's, like, um... Or one layer that's, like, really spread out. Like, um, if I can try and explain this a little bit, how it works, the math behind it. Basically, I can kind of tune the wave so that it's more spread out, you know, and more flat. But it, And then I can also tune how kind of uh, jagged it is. So, like, I can make an area where it, it varies in height a lot, but it's still quite, you know, flat. It doesn't actually, ver like, it's not very jagged. Or I can make an area where it actually, it's quite jagged and it's just, it's like crazy, you know. But, so when you kind of tweak those two, that gives you different um, results. So as I said, like this whole world is coming from one, like a uh, random wave pattern, basically. That's the only thing that's actually generating it. The rest is just, you know, a bit of math on it. But I'd be interested to see what I can do with this now. If I make some cool mountains or stuff, I might show it off. But yeah, I really just want to make a video and give you guys an update. I normally don't do update videos this often, but you guys seem to like them and seem to be, you know, really into them at the moment. So I just thought I'd show it off. thought it was cool. And, um, and yeah. Also kind of the setting to do with the water. I kind of like this look. It's weird. But there's something about like the bright sand and the, like the, the kind of the plain blue which just looks really nice to me. It doesn't suit the textures at all, <laughs> but um, looks kind of cool. So I don't know. I'll decide on the graphical style later. But yeah, I think for now, guys, that's that. I'll probably come back to you when I have some better physics, and maybe I might even do UI next. I don't know. I kind of want to get a UI in because I need to benchmark stuff, and it's easier if you have an actual UI to render <laughs> text with. So I'll see. I don't know. Anyway, guys. In the meantime, this has been a video, indeed, yes, and good day!